everybody this is cam i'm back again i'm trying to get these videos out y'all because i'm kind of behind the ball on this so y'all gonna see this little setup in a couple of videos this yo girl and i'm coming back with another candle review let's get this video going because it's gonna be on a candle review and like i said i'm trying to pipe these videos out real quick because i'm kind of behind the ball on this so today is work day i thought i had already did a video on this candle and it does look a little bit washed out i really really thought i had already did a video and post the video and everything but it appears that i haven't so let's do that right now okay the scent notes in this candle is a shot of espresso whipped sweet cream sugar crystals and if you ask me as far as the whipped sweet cream and the sugar crystals is right on point as far as the espresso coffee i don't really get the espresso scent or note in this candle at all um to me this candle smells like cream like whipped cream like when i'm using my nespresso and i use that frother and once i open up that frother i get that scent of the whipped cream that's what i smell with this candle and i actually just took it off the warmer so as you you probably can see that a little bit it's kind of it's still warm but the the packaging is beautiful i absolutely love this packaging y'all um it has all different kind of little um things on it it have like um the french coffee pot it has like coffee beans um it has just whipped crop coffee it has all kind of stuff on the top of it um just a cream color jar cream color wax the lid is more of a beige color um pearlized color amazing really really nice packaging hats off to whoever is in packaging or in marketing um lately for bath and body works they have really been doing an amazing job with the packaging y'all selling these candles boy packaging alone is selling these candles like i said as far as the scent you don't get a lot of coffee this to me is more of a latte candle and that's what they should have named it instead of whipped coffee because actually whipped coffee is very 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 strong <laughs> and i post a couple of videos of me making whipped coffee um and it's really like concentrated espresso it's super super strong so i think they named this candle wrong it most definitely should be like a latte candle um people said that it smells like chow bella and it does have that same creamy um element to it or creamy scent candles are much stronger than this one this one is more on the light side so, um but this one is more on the light side so if you're the type of person and you don't like these coffee scented candles this is this will be right up your alley because it's not a strong coffee scented candle i don't even know why they named it this the correct name for this candle needs to be a latte and i'm not sure if they ever had a candle name not latte i don't know but that's what this candle is because you only get the cream in this candle the cream and the sugar um as far as the throw of this candle for me it's because of the scent it's like a creamy scent and the throw it's 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 hard to judge this one um it's because it's not strong like so strong that you gotta put it out but it's a strong cream scent which means a cream scents are more kind of light but strong that's how i feel about this one it's not like a eight or a nine but it is a good high six low seven and you do get that cream scent right now i had it on the lamp warmer all day and when i walked in i most, I most definitely could smell the candle um when i go over to the room where the candle is yes it does smell like 
cream but when I come over to the kitchen area area it's very light so I don't think this candle has a really really big throw um like I said it's more of a high six low seven you know um but it's nice um do I need more of this candle no I could be one and done because that's all I got is one. I could be one and done with this candle because it. other candles that I like more like Chow Bella. Candle. I like those candles way better than this one. This one is still on the light side for me. So I could, like I said, I could be one and done with this one. If I was to get another one, it probably would be to burn it with something like um, Paris Cafe. Yeah, just to get that creamy plus coffee scent. But I personally think that Paris Cafe will drown this candle because Paris Cafe is a strong candle. A very strong coffee scented candle. So a candle like that more than likely will drown this candle and you probably wouldn't smell anything. But if I could find another candle that would go really, really good with this candle, yeah, that would probably be the only thing that makes me say okay i'll buy another one yeah leave that leave in the comments what candle would you burn with this candle just for a nice blend um i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna start trying to figure out some blends with these candles because we buy a lot of candles and most of the time i either burn one of the candles or i buy i mean or i burn two of the same candle um i want to figure out a way to make different blends with the candles you know just to make a whole different unique scent so if you do have different blends that you really enjoy two candles that you just really really enjoy um burning together leave that down in the comment and i might try it if i have those candles um but yeah um as far as another candle nah I, I, I'm good on one and done. <laughs> I could be one and done with this one. Um, that's really all I have to say about this candle. It's not much. It's not a long video. We could recap on it. You get the creamy scent of this candle. There's no coffee in this candle. Even though it says it's coffee, it does not smell like a coffee candle. It smells more of a latte candle as far as the throw of this candle this throw is probably about a seven average it's about an average throw a seven it's not super low and it's not super high you can smell the candle um even in the room you can smell the candle but it's not a smack in the face you know it ain't a scent like that it's just a very low cream like I don't have any issues with the wigs. with the wigs. They mushroom a little bit, but not a whole whole lot. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of high flames because you gotta be on your wigs. You have to. When you see you've been burning your candle for an extremely long time, just put the candle out and let it cool down a little bit and clip your wicks and then relight your candle. Um, you do not want to scorch your wax because that most definitely would change the scent of the candle, especially these cream scented candles. If you burn them too long, these cream scented candles will start smelling burnt. Almost as if you were making custard on the stove and you cooked it too long and now you got that burnt smell going. So you do not want to scorch your wax. So make sure you are cutting your wicks and let the candle rest for a little while. Just, you know. Just so you want to do right by these candles. Now, come on, y'all. You want to do right. You done spent all this money on your candles. You don't want to mess them up. I'm just saying. So, that's all I got to say about this candle. Leave in the comments. Let me know what you think about this candle. Have you bought this candle? Is this a backup worthy candle for you or a hoard worthy candle for you? Leave that at the bottom. Don't forget to let me know what are your blends what are two candles that you think that's that's amazing together you always buy these two candles together because you absolutely love these two blends leave that at the bottom and also y'all don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram yes follow me on instagram and also y'all don't forget to hit that bell all right, y'all. Peace.